warm welcome to know your calling channel can you introduce yourself to our audience Sita, for calling me uh, myself is dr tejas patel i am the associate professor in the department of pharmacology at all india's institute of medical sciences gorakhpur uh, i have the academic experience of uh, 12 years and uh, i am basically involved in academic am academician involved in teachings and uh, have some research experience also i have published so far 66 publications including 17 meta analysis uh, so great that is uh, amazing and uh, what it is like to be in the pharmacology branch yeah pharmacology branch actually uh, i love about it its, uh, its involvement into the teaching first that's what i passion about undergraduate teachings is the important thing then you have some research opportunities will also be there uh, then you will be assigned some of the important administrative responsibilities in the institutes like working into the ethics committees research advisory committees multidisciplinary research units you will have and uh, though it's a non clinical branch we not likely to see the patients but we'll always updated about the uh, knowledge of the drugs uh, recent advances into the treatment so that's that's the base part of pharmacology i perceive uh, so what do we expect the three years of our residentship to be like in pharma yeah three years of residency uh, many times depends on the institution actually but uh, overall you will be exposed to the dissertation just like any other branch you will expo- one research project you will do then pharmacovigilance idea reporting journal club seminars then your training should be in a two directions one is an academicians and the second uh, as a pharma, uh, uh, pharmaceutical industry so you should focus into the two parts Next, for the academicians you will be involved into the undergraduate teachings so you will develop the presentation skills teaching skills communication skills that will help you both as in good academicians as well as you know if you select the industry from the industry perspectives second you should know about the drug development process by learning into the pharmacology from pre clinical to clinicals how they are being conducted and its interpretations you may not actually do the animal experiments but you should know about how to interpret the findings of the pre clinical drug development because drug development in this starts with animals and subsequently goes into the various phases from phase 1 to phase 4 so you should be aware about that parts research methodologies statistics is important so you should be focused so uh, but all these trainings dip- varies from institute to institute so a lot you you should be aware about those things the onus will be on you this is across the branches the learning is onus on the students so you should prepare for yourself both for the academy and the industry from the perspective you should be aware about the good clinical practice and those things so what are some of the pros and cons of uh, pharma? pros and cons of the pharma first is uh, from the academic point of view as i told you, told you the teachings and all these things you will get second is your uh, there are the plenty of the job opportunities in the field of pharmacology from both in the academics and the industry first i will talk about the academics point of view because now the government has a dream of medical college in every colleges yeah. so more colleges more will be the job opportunities into the pharmacology yes first thing second is uh, pharma sector is ever growing even in the covid times who which, who does not affect it, the sector which is not been affected in fact which is grown during the covid time is the pharma industry so it is also ever expanding its base and there are lots of job opportunities into the pharma industries so these are the pros what i am feeling from point of view there are opportunities also into the regulatory authorities you can work you can work as a freelancer also then some of the my colleagues who are working into the mm, private colleges are doing uh, part time practice also so that are the some of the option but only few individuals are doing it main is process opportunities into the academicians and industry the cons about is it's not a clinical branch yeah so most of you will not be exposed to the patients 
we are not looking for the emergencies so that will be the cons then yes as i said the medical colleges are expanding but now they are expanding in those parts of the india which is not having medical services so little bit less developed places so you have to compromise with the places uh, even in the pharma industries yes they are into the metro cities but you have to change the place you have to select the places you have to then and then you will be settled so location wise place wise you may need to compromise and it's a non clinical branch so that that you one has to accept it while taking the pharmacology and sir what are some settlement aspects like uh, like in terms of private versus government colleges and salary and lifestyle the differences in work and earning yes there are, there will be a differences will be there exactly uh, first i will talk about the academics and we will we'll do with this nowadays jobs mainly into the private college colleges are will be there so monetary starting will be around uh, 15 lakhs per annum you can say but uh, growth is slow in the uh, private colleges in government will start around little bit higher in private you will get easily get the promotions so promotion is not an issue but uh, salary growth may may be a problem will be there in government that is not a problem but many state colleges do not have the policy of the promotion so you may stuck in academics in industry yes there are so many opportunities out there it's, it's an open field actually so maybe starting but after 5 years 10 years life the growth potential is tremendous but uh, as i say it's in private sectors so actually you are working in industry you are not working into the hospitals or colleges so you you the timelines you have to follow yes and uh, task has to be completed in time you are answerable for any penny every penny you are getting but all these are manageable but yes it's 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 a like uh, you have to be strict to the timelines otherwise in academics life is somewhat easy you can work out on your hobbies and so many things you can do simultaneously so what are some of the research opportunities in aims and in other institutes of india and also with that what are the research opportunities uh, in abroad countries uh, research opportunities if we about the hardcore research that is if we talking about the phase 1 and phase 2 clinical trials so research is mainly doing a main is in the pharma industries our indian pharma industries are actually growing like anything and if you see into the recent covid times also we come up with the newer vaccines uh, if we go previously 5 years back actually the we are not trying newer drugs first time into the uh, patients in india or healthy volunteers better term is healthy volunteers phase 1 trials we never do but now our industry is also doing the real research starting from the phase 1 phase 2 so for the research oriented peoples now that they must go into the they can go into the clinical development drug development in the pharma sectors research yes it is a priority into the central institute like aims and pgi so if you want to go yes during from the residency point of view try to develop those skills publications manuscript writings these are all all being there into the there and uh, if you want to go into the abroad that is also a possibility but again mainly mainly into the private sectors into the private sector some some may take up the phd's and into the foreign and then but directly doing the md here and you you will not directly go to the abroad try to settle yourself into the industry you work into the related areas and then you you switch over to the abroad so that is also possibility and sir uh, jaise aap private sector ke bare mein thoda elaborate karenge ki usme kaise approach karna chahiye students ko uh, after md yes sir acha okay 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 now for the industry there are the three options one is the drug development second is the medical affairs and third is the pharmacovigilance so these are the three main areas one can work 
so in in drug developments uh, one is assigned the responsibility of the uh, uh, creating the protocols then the conduction of the trials and uh, uh, investigators they have to make the contacts and so trial related all activities i'm not going to much detail but trial related all activities one need to do one need to select the sites at various places and get the task completed in medical affairs or medical marketings so one is training to the medical representatives okay uh, creating conferences workshops uh, solving the queries of the practitioners so that will be the task while pharmacovigilance is related with the safety reportings more like a desk desk job and as per the regulatory compliance one will work so in in drug development when you choose that field you you should be aware about those phases of the trials protocols regulatory aspects those skills are required while in medical marketings you should have a subject knowledge and your soft skills communication skills teaching skills are important while uh, pharmacovigilance more or like the it professionals so that is important for them so what are some of your personal favorites from the branch that you aspects that you personally like yes uh, i can manage my time i can do i can adjust my work that is that is the most conveniency for me i love about it i love about the teaching yes it's my passion and uh, yes and the research so i can plan my things as per in my timelines, nine to five, nine to six, nine to seven. So I decide. That's the main thing. And uh, sir, what are uh, like? Uh, there are some future scopes, super specialties, and fellowships in pharmacology. There the few. Yes, uh, one can do the DM clinical pharmacology, the subject. So that is one is there, where the individuals is being trained about the again. The clinical research is the main focus. Therapeutic drug monitoring, pharmacogenetics. They are better trained for the protocol writings. So both they can serve better into the academics as well as industry point of view. But again, options will be the two only, academy or industry, even after doing the DM clinical pharmacology. But they are always one step higher ahead. So it's personal choice whether you want to invest three years into a DM clinical pharmacology, or uh, you starting selecting those options right, right from the MD pharmacology. Sir, I think pharmacology is an evergreen branch. It will never be like in radiology. There is there are aspects that uh, maybe computer programs will somewhat take over the job aspects. But I think pharmacology is an evergreen branch, and we will always be associated with academics and teaching. And that is one of the very important pros of Absolutely this branch. Agree. what i said is okay what about medicine is our branches what about the drugs there is always be a demand of the newer drugs safer drugs so this this branch will always be there it, it's, it's a backbone actually of the medicine i perceive it is very true sir it is the one of the stepping stones where every other branch is based yes 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 and so what are the settle, uh, settlement prospects like, like the average numbers of years? How will that journey look like in pharmacy? Three years uh, residency and after two or three years, I think you, you can have your directions. Initial period may be there, actually, once finishing the MD. Actually, many are uh, undecided where to go whether to go into the academic, some of them still are the answer. Those who are actually decided straight from the beginning, it's good for them. In three years, first your task would be to decide where you want to go, academy or mm, pharmaceutical industry. Actually, then you can train yourself according to the needs of that. So during three years, yes, you may not be decided right now while selecting the pharmacology. Maybe you are not getting the clinical branches, so you have selected pharmacology. Okay, absolutely okay. But within three years, you need to decide it. Okay, where where do I want to go? Where I want to start my career? So, if academics, 
RAS. You you select the colleges, private colleges. You need to work maybe initial periods or lesser known places. You know you need to work into the newer colleges. You may need to work, but believe me, it's better to establish yourself as an academician into the newer colleges. You can easily establish yourself. You can grow, and then you switch to the so by three two to three years you will be settled. In industry also, you need to change two or three industries. Again, you need to decide if you are very clear about where you want to go, medical affairs, drug developments, or pharmacovigilance. One can switch over also. I know many of them have switched over from academic to industry, industry to academics. But again, the journey will actually, settlement time period will be enhanced. So if you decide it, then you, you Many times you have to start in industry, whatever the job is available to you, nearby to you. But eventually, one or two, three years, you exposed to those conditions and you start settling. And monitoring settling after five years, you can easily settle, actually. There will not be any problems. You will have a wonderful life. What, are, what is required for the good life, to enjoy the life, you have the plenty of times also to enjoy the lives. So both are there in pharmacology. So what is the life of a resident like? It's it's, it's not. Uh, I think it will be relaxed and enjoyable. And uh, things uh, that one should specifically keep in mind while taking pharma MD. That's what I'm saying. Uh, learning you should be commitment toward the branches and uh, commitment for the skills to acquire for the academics and industry. So that is more important. Actually, it's all about the mindsets. So the mindset is, is positive, then, then there, is, there will not be any, any problem. There are lots of opportunities and scopes are there. Uh, any special message from your side? Yeah, yeah. OK. My, uh, my spe special message is all about is, is the uh, commitment. That's it. That, that's all is required. That's all is required. Nothing else. Otherwise, all you can learn and uh, uh, good networking is there. Always have contact with the others, your peers, your seniors. So that, that will definitely help you in the branch, where to go. So don't confine yourself. What are you thinking? Okay. Do a good network. I think that, that will apply to across the branches. Even in the clinics also, we need to take the help of the others to establish ourselves. So you are just establishing the clinics, you are establishing yourself here also. So have a network of across the institutes. Thank you so much, sir. It was a grateful meeting. And uh, thank you so much. Best wishes for the future. Yeah, Thank you. Thank you. My best wishes to all of you. Thank you, sir. And yes, one can further uh, those who wants to take the pharmacology and those who have taken the pharmacology can contact me. My mail also. My mail ID is dr.tkp2006 at the red yahoo.co.in. So you can mail me also. I may respond late, but will respond.